Hey what is up everyone, I'm Starlords and today's video is what I think a quite important one for all of the community. Now, today's video will be centering around console mods and unfortunately it will be leaning more towards Xbox One. So if you are a PlayStation user, I am very sorry about this, but this situation is kind of important for those on the Xbox One and possibly for you guys on the PlayStation 4 if mods do ever arrive. Now this situation is about the 2 gigabyte limit that we have to install console mods. So you guys are aware that you know you can only install 2 gigabytes of mods on your Xbox console. And originally when we heard this news, a lot of people were very angry because you know 2 gigabytes is kind of not enough in some people's eyes, you know. And since then, we got told that, you know, we would hear updates if they were going to increase that 2 gigabyte limit. And unfortunately, we actually haven't had anything since the release of console mods uh, for that information. So, you know, as far as we know, we will always have a 2 gigabyte limit uh, for now. So, I got a tweet earlier on by a guy named Sky Reaper. So, thank you very much for tweeting this to me, guy, uh, dude. And it kind of had me thinking, will the 2 gigabyte limit for Fallout 4 also be the same limit for Skyrim. So no, what I mean by that is, you know, if you install one gigabyte of mods on Fallout 4, are you only able to install another one gigabyte of mods for Skyrim? You know, is that two gigabyte limit shared between Fallout 4 or uh, Skyrim, or is it separate? Now, this is kind of important, you know, because if people like to play both games and they have two gigabytes worth of mods for Fallout 4, that means that they will have to in either in uninstall those mods or not play mods on Skyrim. So, yeah, like I said, guys, it is a pretty important situation. Now I'm going to be showing you a tweet from Pete Hines and from Sky Reaper and from myself uh, right now. So, first of all, here is Sky Reaper's tweet and he says, at Pete Hines, third time... When is storage space, more of it, coming to Xbox One? Because 2 gigabytes is bad and we all need more. Reply and don't say evaluation. Then Pete Hines replies with, It's not up to us, it's determined by Microsoft. Now all of us kind of known uh, that, you know, it was determined by Microsoft. You know, it's up to Microsoft if they want to spread uh, the 2 gigabyte limit to maybe 3 or 4 or 5, you know, and so on. But... I will explain on that a little bit later on because I really don't think that they will and I will explain kind of why in a second. Now moving on to my tweet, I tweeted at Pete, that was a lot of rhyming, but I said, Pete, with Xbox having a 2 gigabyte limit of mod storage, is that 2 gigabyte shared between both Skyrim and Fallout or do we get 2 gigabytes each? Now. Obviously, uh, some of you guys may know that me and Pete don't really see eye to eye. We kind of have a mutual kind of non-understanding with each other, you know. And he is definitely not going to reply to this, you know. He doesn't like me one bit. I don't really like him. And he's not going to reply to this. So, I kind of do rely on you guys to either share this video or even tweet him or retweet my tweet to him to kind of get the answer on this because it is a very important answer, you know. This will affect a lot of people's purchases for Skyrim, um, I can imagine anyway. So uh, I just kind of wanted to throw that out guys as I will not get a reply but you guys certainly will as you are the community, you know. Sometimes we got to come together and, you know, do this together. Uh, so if you want to, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitter, retweet my tweet or whatever you want to do. Um, but anyway, let's move on to this. So I have asked the question and until now, we don't know, but here is why I think that it is actually shared. Now, the 2 gigabyte storage limit that we get for our Xbox One mods is very precious storage. Now, it isn't your normal hard drive space because, you know, when you install a mod uh, onto your Fallout 4, you don't see it pop up in managed games, you know, where you would normally see the DLC for games. You don't see your mods there. So, those mods are actually stored somewhere else. And... That storage space is very vital for Microsoft. Now, the storage space that we're actually talking about is shared, you know. It's got the Connect storage space, the Connect information there. It's got the Cortana voice command information stored there. And then also, Microsoft opened up 2 gigabytes for the Bethesda mod storage, you know. So, it is very 
precious space and honestly I feel like that 2 gigabyte limit will not get lifted up any higher because you know Microsoft need to take into account what kind of updates they will do in the future for their console and that is kind of my reasoning behind the mod storage space and uh, you know feel free to disagree with me if you have a better solution in your head to what that storage space is then please feel free to comment I would like to know but as of now, that is my understanding of the 2 gigabyte limit, and I honestly feel like that 2 gigabyte limit is definitely, definitely shared between Fallout 4 and Skyrim. So we will only get 2 gigabytes between both games, which is very, very unfortunate. And I did think that this video was vital to bring the community, you know, like I said, it will affect a couple of sales on this game because people will be effectively pissed off that they can only install like one gigabyte if they already have a gigabyte already put into Fallout 4. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below and like I said, please tweet to Pete Hines or Macaran staff to get an answer because this is vital information. Anyway guys, I hope you have an awesome week and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!